out of town for the week. Quick check, meet and greet. Hit the for the feet. Yeah, we try for the pistol, just so you know it ain't sweet. Yeah. In this cold world, keep it heat, yeah. Even when you go to sleep, yeah. Hey, what dream, you yeah. Before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when I drop videos. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment. It's your boy Vaughn and I'm out. Jump! What up, YouTube? I already know who it is for Don't your boy Vaughn. And let's talk about the ref system. The ref system this year for 2K18 is by far the worst system ever created. I know 2K made this concept and they was looking to make more money out of this with the whole when you create a new archetype, you gotta buy a VC, then put your attributes up, buy the haircuts over from the tattoos and everything from the shoes. Nothing carries over when you make a new archetype. So 2K must have thought them doing this would make people spend more money when actually this year people probably made the least most archetypes compared to 17. And 17, you know, you can make any type of archetype it was and keep your overall. And that's how 19 needs to be. And I'm gonna say why. For one, if you got a player that's 95, you don't want to start over. Because if you, if you make another player 85 and get him up to like 90, you're wasting time. If you used to put all that time that you made into your characters, a lot of people will be 99. In my opinion, how I see it. If you look at all the archetypes you'd have made and you put all that stuff together, if you was the together all the time spent in VC, you earned it, not the VC, the XP you earned and put it all into one character, you would probably be like, high 90s like me i got like a 94 i think or 93 or some player and i got like a couple 90s you know what i'm saying i know if i put all that to one hour probably been like 97 overall or something you see what i'm saying and 97 would have would have um pushed me to go to 99 you know what i'm saying that would have motivated me to get to 99 but starting over with a new build and trying new builds that do not motivate people to make a new build you see what i'm saying it's time consuming now the perfect rep system would be if they hit it like it was last year, but a little twist. What I mean, a little twist is, I know they have archetypes in the game and they're not leaving. Archetypes gonna be here to stay for at least two to three more years. They just introduced and they feel like it's successful, just like the park. I mean, my way, not the park, the um, playground, AKA the neighborhood. So the neighborhood is still gonna be the, we don't know whether they're gonna bring affiliations into the neighborhood hopefully you know what i'm saying that's what everybody wishing for but we know for sure the neighborhood will be here and with that being said a reason why the whole 99 thing is messed up is because like the rep it was and so on and so on you know what i'm saying but let's just stick mainly on on that and not just you know jump off topic but the perfect rep system would be last year like no matter what you do I, I understand how they have it well you play my career you play park or you play stage you can earn xp which is understandable that's good now how i see it is stage you should in stage you should earn less rep than you do when you're playing um park i feel like park Park should be more rep than stage how it was and I think it was 17. One of those, I think it was either 17 or 16. I don't know. One of those years was like when you went to stage, um, you got a little you got a little rep, but it wasn't as much as if you went to park. So it needs to be like that. Park and stage does not need to have the exact the same amount of rep because if that's the case, if you are good at the game, there's no point of you playing in park. You see what I'm saying? You can just go to stage where you can get that same XP as well as money. You get what I'm saying? It, it needs to be some type of difference between stage and park. You see what I'm saying? Like stage mainly supposed to be for money. So if you want to earn rep and they want to keep that everywhere you go, you earn rep. I feel like you should earn a little less than what you earn in park. Now, I know some people might got this whole thing about my career not being able to earn all that vc but at the same time if you think about it it's honestly like the way it is it, it makes sense because you go to my career people be playing for like 40 minutes 12 minute quarters 10 minute quarter that's like an hour you go to pro amp you probably play like a 25 minute game probably like three to four games at the most them three to four games at the most you could probably get between like 60k to like 80k or something like that you know what i'm saying and you reckon on a whole bunch of badges and everything. So I feel like it's balanced as far as the my career with the whole minutes and all that stuff is balanced. But I do believe that they should make it in my career. If you put it on Hall of Fame difficulty, you get more XP 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't say twice as much, but like 1.5 more, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Something more rewarding for playing on a harder difficulty than playing on rookie. I feel like you should earn more VC. I mean, not VC, XP. Now, the main overall thing about this is keep the archetypes. I know they want to keep the archetypes, but just make it what if you make a new archetype. Let's say I'm 95 overall on my pure shop, right? And I go make a glass cleaner. Now, my glass cleaner. Of course, he's gonna start off as a 60 overall, right? But make it how the old 2K was. Like, I can make, I, I can have the ability to make my center a 95 overall, but I would have to spend the VC, you know, because you know 2K all about their money, all about VC. So this this works for in y'all favor as well, 2K. You know what I'm saying? The, the death and all y'all. This works in y'all favor as well as as well as our favor. So let's say I make a new character. I don't want to go in the booth and get his overall up. So. For me being a 95 automatically, my 95 should stick with my game attack, you know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna have to bring back like Legend 1, Legend 2 and all that, but let my overall stick. I'm, a, I'm overall 95 in general. I put the time in to be 95 overall, but I made a new glass cleaner, so he's gonna be a 60 something. Now, I should be able to use VC to get him all the way up to 95 instantly out the gate, you know what I'm saying? But the one thing I would have to work on to go to my career would be for my batters. That only makes sense. And I say this method because if you get to 99 overall in 18, it was kind of like I, I wouldn't. I know the feeling. I would, I'm not in that position, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not 99 overall. But I know in that case, if I hit 99, I would not want to make a whole new build to start over. Now, this is going to also cater to the 99 overall people. When you hit 99, they need to make the, this game. This game needs lifespan. You know what I'm saying? So after 99, the journey still won't be over because it, it'll make more people want to play the game. And what I mean by that is like, when you get 99, you could be able to make a new player. So let's say I'm a 95 pure sharp. I hit 99, right? Okay, I want I want to play with a new player. Of course, I don't want to start over because I'm a 99. So if I make a new character, he be uh, 60 overall, whatever. I could just spend my VC to get him to 99. Only downfall is. I'm gonna have to go and get all my badges. You see what I'm saying? Or at least I would say at least start them off with all bronze badges or something like that. But for the most part, going into the my career booth and going to get the badges, I would say let them do that. But it's like you would still be experienced other 99 builds instead of starting off from scratch. I feel like that should, that should be another rule. Or or maybe you can pay like or maybe you can pay twice the amount of VC how much it costs to get your 99 and get all your badges. I don't know. It should be something, something like that, so that the 99 overalls can keep on playing the game and, and the lifespan to be still there. You know what I'm saying? So they can, they can, they can have some type of journey or some type of something to earn. You know what I'm saying? Like let's say, okay, let's say like it costs 600k or something to be 99 out the gate, right? With all your bags or 800k or something. I might not have that kind of money, so I might want to go to stage. So that's that's motivating me to get this other bill and get it to 99 to try it out. You know what I'm saying? Bad going to the um the stage or whatever instead of spending money or people who want to spend the money and just do you see what i'm saying they, they get to experience what it's like to be other archetypes and be 99 you get what i'm saying and this this works in everybody's favor that's why i say it should be this way you know what i'm saying it works for the consumers and also work for the people who make the game you feel what i'm saying but in my opinion that would be the perfect rep system you know just keep everything the way it is take a little bit of xp that you earn from stage out Make it where if you play on Hall of Fame, my career, you get like a little bit more XP, probably like a 1-3, one, 1-10, one, one I mean, uh, what is that, 1.3 more or 1.5 more XP, you know what I'm saying, something like that. And you keep your overall, overall, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like whatever overall you is, you keep that, no matter what archetype you play with, you know what I'm saying, just make it like the old 2Ks, but just come back out with the rookie one, the all-star legend, and, and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying, You, it's only right you come out that way, so it, it, the game could cater to everybody, you feel what I'm saying, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, I know this video is like 8 minutes long, man, but you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta let y'all know what's up, you feel me? but shout out to everybody who watched the video all the way to the end, man, y'all the real MVP, man, it's your boy Von, I'm out, jump!